Well, hello there. I'm Retro, and today I'm here at St. Pete. We're here at the Indy 500, and today let's hope we get to talk to some amazing drivers and retired drivers and lots of other people. So let's see what kind of luck we have and go. So let's get into it. Woo! It's time for another on the spot. On the spot. Some fans want a classic live every weekend somewhere during the season. Champ Webb just ran a very popular Twitter tournament where your dad's shell car uh, was top five. Would it be cool to do something like that on IndyCar or does it seem too gimmicky? No, I think it'd be pretty cool. And I, I saw that, you know, I... Uh, I saw that, that whole livery madness thing, it was really cool. A uh, classic livery? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, unfortunately, most of the time, liveries are dictated by sponsors, uh, so you can't really go kind of crazy with everything you'd like to do. I'm not so sure about this, uh, you know, old car style. I would like to see the old car sponsorship on it, and, uh, and maybe all, this new, all those sponsors are back on, the, on IndyCar again. It would be really cool. It would be fun to do some more like throwbacks, you know, for sure. And I think that people would respond, you know, really well to that. Uh, we're fortunate at our team, like one of our sponsors, United Rentals, like they're kind of always up for like doing whatever we want. So it would be kind of fun to uh, connect back and do some stuff like that. It would be great to do that in IndyCar because uh, the more people we get interested in the sport, the better. No, that would be cool. I, would, I mean, you know, it's a... It's, uh... This is a, it's a fun sport, and I will love. I mean, I think it would be really cool. No, I think that's what makes IndyCar fun, right? You know, like that's the thing I like about racing here is you can some things will be different every time, and I guess it's difficult because people associate liveries to drivers, but people here get behind the driver anyway. So it really be great. I think it'd be good. I think it'd work well here. I really do. Does it seem too gimmicky or no? No, I don't think so. Well, I think any way that you can connect people back to the sport, even if it's something different at a different event that uh, they're looking at different liveries on the cars or they're looking at just a lot of different ways to engage, I think we're always trying to find new ways to engage our fans. So, um, so there are certain things that sometimes are gimmicky, and a lot, of, a lot of times things are just fun and engage fans well. Very cool. Uh, other sports are doing it. Uh, stick and ball sports are doing it. And... Uh, you know, they wouldn't look like the Marmon Wasp, but I think if uh, the teams wanted to change that to change their the, the look and uh, merchandise sales, it'd be really cool. No, you know what I wish we did was I wish we did like a throwback uh, weekend like NASCAR does, where we all do throwback liveries. That'd be that'd be cool. I can tell you, you know, that I have an experience on that in uh, Darlington with the NASCAR cars, and that was very very successful. What kind of car do you want to have for the library? Oh, that's a tough one. I always liked um, Valvoline car, and we have a we have a partnership with Valvoline as well. So maybe doing something like that would be pretty cool. How cool would it be to see Colton out there in the old shell car colors for a race, though? Oh, Colton in a shell throwback car. <laughs> that would be really cool. But I have to be careful because now we're sponsored by Castrol. So. So it would be really cool to see him in a throwback Castrol car. Dad's MGD car was a classic. How cool would it be to see Grim out there in your old black and yellow colors for a race, though? Well, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, maybe if he gets the mustache, we can get a black and gold car. That would be cool. Maybe AJ's all black or all orange number 14? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, the all black car, for sure. That was a cool car, the Copenhagen uh, sponsorship. Well, I shouldn't say that, but the um, the marble color, you know, is a, is such a historical, you know, white and bright red. I think that's uh, that's really cool. Um, I really like my dad's car back when he raced uh, crest car, the red, white, and blue. And I remember back when I raced F4, my car was pretty similar to that. Ninety-nine, maybe two thousand. Uh, Max Pappas was driving for my dad, and it was also another Miller Light or Miller car. And they did a really cool dark blue one with like some chrome accents, Harley Davidson was a sponsor on it and stuff. And it was a really like, I don't know, it was just, for me, it was a really cool paint team. I like mine, <laughs> I already like mine. So I think the, uh, the, the pink is for uh, Auto Nations Drive, Drive Pink uh, Charity Awareness. Uh, it's aimed at breast cancer. Um, I'm proud to have the car that color, so 
I'm partial to it. I thought it looked good last year too in the chrome, so um, there's nobody else's livery I'd rather have. I'm up for any new ideas. Thinking outside the box I think is good. You know, it's nice to create events, you know, to create something, not just a racing, but something that everybody can enjoy, you know, something people can look forward to. So I'm with you. I think there's certain races with historic value where it's uh, where I think it would be quite cool and unique. Probably like Road America or some like really historic road course. Road America or um, yeah, Road America probably sounds like the right place to do that. I don't know. Or Mid Ohio. Ooh, Road America. I think would be a good one because it's it's a classic race. It's been going a long time. Toronto possibly. The reason I say Toronto is that you know a lot of the sponsors are US based. So if you go at race in Canada, they, they can have different sponsors. Or you, know, you wouldn't want to do the last race, I think, because if you win the championship, the sponsors want the normal livery. But yeah, Road America. It would be cool if one of this team and one of the sponsor would want uh, for one event to have race fans uh, designing their livery. I think it'd be quite good fun to see. What do you think? I mean, I would like to see it. Okay, maybe we should start like a petition or something. We, I'll sign it. If you start one, I'll sign it for you. I mean, I'm trying. There's a lot of good ones that we see, but we should definitely do some more. Maybe you can inspire that and make that happen for us. Do it, IndyCar. Well, that was an exciting three days. I got to interview all the drivers. Everyone was just so nice to me, and I can't believe I got to do this experience. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, like, and share. Bye!